Hey guys, welcome to the show. So this is my first print on this new Creality Ender 3 version 2 printer. And you can see I have some major problems going on here. This is not a part that I would want to give to anybody or even use for myself. There's way too much cleanup and uh, it would result in a poor surface quality um, in those concave areas. So let's go through the process in this video of adjusting two simple settings within Cura in order to get that kind of surface quality finish which is almost no cleanup whatsoever. So what are the the two critical things that need to be adjusted in order to prevent stringing on a part like this? So the first is retraction distance. When you're printing with a direct drive extrusion setup the retraction distance is much less and I've had a setting of one millimeter on the Anet A8 and anything larger than one millimeter will cause voids in my part. Um, when I switched over to this printer, one millimeter is not good. One millimeter causes a lot of stringing. So um, the Bowden style setup seems to require a lot larger retraction distance. 4.75 millimeters after testing it seems to work really well for this printer and the material that I'm printing. Now when you're printing one part, it's probably not as critical as when you're printing multiple parts and the printer is constantly jumping between those parts on your build plate. Here's an example of a print with a 4mm retraction distance. You can see the quality is uh, far superior to the previous one. So here's the next one which is very interesting. It's not something I was aware of until recently and it seems to work really well. So go into settings, configure settings and look for combing. So under travel it's called combing mode. Now this is um, really for a part that has these types of voids in it or these types of valleys in it and it's because of the way that it likes to travel through that part. If you had a square for example, a rectangle type of shape, there would be no need to travel from peak to peak. Um, so you're not going to see the same issues that I'm seeing here. Just have a look at the amount of travels from peak to peak and you can see there's a huge potential for stringing. We take combing mode and we turn it on for all. And you can see all of that is removed. So that potential for stringing is completely gone. All of the travel happens within the part itself. You can see that it's moving within the part. Any stringing would occur within the part as well. And by far that has produced the best quality prints that I've seen off of this printer and my Anet A8 in over two years of printing. There will be no cleanup whatsoever required for removing any strings. The only cleanup is to remove this brim and that's something that I have to print with in order to print ABS. Another hidden advantage of the combing mode seems to be print time. So have a look without combing mode turned on. 8 hours and 15 minutes, 155 grams of filament being printed. Combing mode turned on. 7 hours and 32 minutes. So not only is it a better print speed, it's a better surface finish quality, less cleanup. For this particular part and parts like it, there are some huge advantages if you're going to get into more production style setup. Let's have a quick look at the final product off the printer with those settings activated and see how it turned out. So this is probably my best print so far from any printer. And those settings activated really made a big difference in taking the print from something that looked like this to something that looks super clean, no cleanup necessary, really professional. Guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you subscribe and like. If you have any comments on the video, put them in the section below and I will see you on the next one.